All right, I am getting ready to redo my pantry. So if you want to see how it turns out, stay tuned. So here are some before photos of my pantry. My first goal was to get the cans off of my shelves and onto this blank wall where I could build this can organizer. So this is the basic rough draft of a, what I want the organizer to look like. I did accidentally when building this omit the one by threes on the two ends, which I advise to please go ahead and put those in and I'll explain to you why at the end of the video. To begin, I took the door off just so I would have a lot more space to work with. And then I also had my daughter help me clean out the pantry. And then I began to mark out the studs on the wall where the organizer would go. So first I'm going to take two one by sixes and create two six foot lengths. On my third one by six, I'm going to do two four foot lengths. And then I'm also going to cut a one by four at four feet. And this should create the basic frame for my organizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. Once I had all those pieces cut, I took my four foot pieces and I pocket holed on each end. With everything cut, I laid the pieces out and got them ready to assemble. I began assembling the frame using these frame corner clamps. And the one thing that I would maybe do different is flipping all of my pocket hole boards around so that they're on the outsides. That way they would be hidden from view. However, by the end of the build, they're all pretty much hidden anyways. For this middle board, I did measure down 24 inches and made sure to screw it in center to that 24 inches. After moving the frame into the pantry, I cut another one by four at four feet. And then on the underside, I pocket hold so that I could attach it to the middle one by four in the center. I measured 24 inches from the top to the top of that middle shelf so that all of the dividers that I was going to cut for my cans would be that 24 inches. And after cutting multiple of those 24 inch pieces, I started to screw them into the support pieces via pocket holes. Here you can see I have one at the bottom as well as one at the top. And then I did also cut a scrap piece of wood to use as a spacer. And then I continued this process for the whole top row and bottom row. I also want to mention that this is where I should have went ahead and put a one by three right against the left and right side edges. So that when I put the face frame to block all my cans from falling out, I would be able to screw them to those side edges. So in the middle of clearing out all our cans in the pantry is when I decided to go ahead and destroy all the shelves and just completely remodel the whole pantry. If you're interested in that video, I'll put a link in the description. All right, this is where we decided to go ahead and put a piece of melamine as the front of our organizer to keep the cans from falling out. Here we are screwing them into all of the divider pieces. Uh, this is where we noticed that we forgot to put a 1x3 on the left and right sides so that the melamine ended up being kind of flimsy when we put the cans in. Make sure you put those 1x3s directly on those sides. That way you can screw the very edge of the melamine board to those and it'll be a lot sturdier. Also make sure to use cans for reference on your spacing. All right, I have finished up the can organizer and I just used 1 8 inch melamine board to screw onto the front of the 1x3s, making sure to leave openings at the bottoms and then there is opening at the top on there. Now we just need to fill it up with cans. All right, and here it is in all its glory. This was a super fun project, definitely functional, has saved me tons of space in my pantry. I hope you found this project helpful. If you like this kind of content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will check you guys out next time.